In this short video, we will show how to start a capture using an advanced trigger on the Beagle USB 5000 V2 protocol analyzer. In part 1, we created a USB 2.0 complex match based on left and right mouse clicks and sent out an external trigger signal using a digital I.O. cable. Now we will use the same USB 2.0 complex match but instead start a capture. We will also show the Beagle USB 5000 V2 analyzer's ability to display pre-trigger events using the data center software. To review, each time a left mouse click occurs, we see a pattern ending in 01. While each time we right click the mouse, we see a pattern ending in 02. Now let's learn how to automatically start a capture based upon a trigger. In this case, the trigger will be on a right mouse click, followed by a left mouse click, followed by one right mouse click. When this match occurs, the capture will start and data will display in the transaction window. First, we'll open the Device Settings menu. Make sure the Trigger Immediately box is not checked, otherwise the capture will start when the play icon is pressed. The capture buffer shows the amount of memory available on the analyzer. You can allocate a set amount of memory to the pre-trigger capture represented by the orange bar. By setting a pre-trigger capture buffer, you'll be able to see the events that occur before the trigger sequence occurred, which is a great time saver in debugging. The blue bar represents the amount of memory allocated to the post-trigger capture. Now click Additional Settings. In the USB 2.0 Matching tab, select Complex. Enable this feature. Now we'll set the first match action condition for State 1. Select Data Match and match on a packet for a specific data pattern. Enter in the pattern to match in hex. For the right mouse click, the pattern is 02. You will fill in the endpoint and data length to make sure that other transactions, such as enumeration, do not accidentally cause the trigger to occur. A best practice is to be as specific as you possibly can when creating triggers. We will match on any packet with this PID and pattern. The selected action will be to go to State 2. For the second pattern match in State 2, select Data Match and match on a packet for a specific data pattern. Enter in the pattern to match in hex. For the left mouse click, the pattern is 01. You will fill in the endpoint and data length to make sure that other transactions don't cause the trigger to occur. Again, match on any packet with this PID and pattern. The selected action will be to go to state 3. For the third pattern match in state 3, select data match and match on a packet for a specific data pattern. Enter in the pattern to match in hex. For the right mouse click, the pattern is 02. You will fill in the endpoint and data length to make sure that other transactions don't cause the trigger to occur. Again, match on any packet with this PID and pattern. Our action is Capture Trigger, which will start the capture. Let's review this complex match. The capture will trigger and display in the transaction window when the match occurs. A right mouse click followed by a left mouse click followed by a right mouse click. Now let's start the capture. A small pop-up window appears. It's telling you that the capture will start as soon as the trigger event is met. Note, at this point, you can manually start the capture by clicking on the bullseye. By plugging the mouse in, we have captured the enumeration of the device within the hardware buffer. I click the left mouse button three times and the right mouse button three times. Nothing is happening because the match has not occurred. Now I click the left button once. I still have not completed the sequence. As soon as I click the right button, the capture should start. Click on Find Next Trigger to locate where the actual trigger occurred in the capture. If we scroll up, we can see all the pre-trigger data. Here are the three left and three right mouse clicks and one left mouse click and one right mouse click, which occurred before the trigger event. Note in the transaction window that the timestamp for the complex trigger notice in green is displayed before the last trigger transaction. If we expand that transaction, you'll see the timestamp of the data packet matches the timestamp on the trigger notice. 
In this demonstration, we saw how easy it is to set up multiple state and pattern matching to trigger a capture, and also view pre-triggered data using the Data Center software in the Beagle USB 5000 V2 Analyzer. For more information, please visit us at TotalPhase.com.